What's up team? Welcome to vlog 38, which is gonna be entirely shot from my car. Um, it is sunny outside. And what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was happiness. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people via private message, email, <clears throat> who are ready to get into 2017, ready to make New Year's resolutions, ready to make it a better year. Um, so many people telling me how hard 2016 was and and I totally get it um, and most of the people who I'm talking to um, are just not happy um, there are some people who have legitimate reasons health um, being the major one but a lot of you just aren't happy and you're not sure why and one of the things that people always ask me on a regular basis is how I'm so happy all the time. And it, it's really two things. I don't know if you guys follow Gary Vaynerchuk, um, but if you don't, follow Gary Vaynerchuk. He's on a big kick lately about talking about gratitude. And even before I started following Gary, I've always been grateful. Um, growing up, I didn't have a dad around. I didn't focus on that. I didn't consciously think about it, but I didn't focus about not having a dad, being one of the kids that didn't have two parents. What I focused on was that I had a loving mother, I had loving grandparents, um, I had loving aunts and uncles, and I was thankful for that. I wasn't, you know, depressed that my dad wasn't around. I was just thankful for what I had. And Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this statistic um, that for us to be born, for us to be humans, there's like a 400 trillion, 400 trillion to one chance that we were even born. And that's just mind boggling. So from that perspective, we've already won. And Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how we've won the lottery. Just being born, we've won the lottery. And how people can go through life and focus on ridiculous things and be ungrateful and would rather be miserable than just thankful for what we have. We see it all the time. People have great jobs, even shitty jobs, and they're not thankful for those jobs. They're not thankful for the car they drive. They're not thankful for the house they have. Um, they always want more. They're always comparing themselves to other people. We want bigger house, bigger car, more things. When really, we should just be freaking thrilled to death that we were born, that we have a job, um, that we have roofs over our heads, and be thankful as hell for the health of our family. You have those things, a job, health of your family, you're born, man, be thankful. Just being thankful will make you so much happier. Don't dwell on ridiculous things. And the second thing, um, which I think makes people happy is service to others. What I find is a lot of unhappy people only think of themselves. They're only thinking inwardly. They never think about other people. They're not focused on helping other people. When you're focused on helping other people, it makes you feel good. You feel like you have self-worth. You're adding something to society. It makes you feel good every single day. Every single day I get on and I help people and, um, and help them improve their health and fitness and help them be around longer for their friends and family. It makes me feel good, it makes me happy. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, just being happy and my keys to happiness. That's really it. Being thankful and helping other people. You do those two things, you're gonna be happy. The problem is, it's easy to be miserable. It's easy to, to bitch and whine about what we don't have. It's easy to not help people. Um, it's easy to just worry about ourselves. You know, doing the things that make you happy takes effort. It does. Um, but it's, a mo it's momentum. It's a snowball rolling down a mountain. You start getting that momentum. It builds, it builds. You feel better about yourself. You feel good. You have purpose every day. You want to jump out of bed. You're excited for what the day holds. 
So that's it. Those are my thoughts today on being happy in 2017. Be thankful for what you have and help people, whatever capacity that is. Maybe it's not health and fitness. Maybe it's getting out and volunteering in your community. Maybe it's mentoring a child. Maybe it's coaching a team like I do. Um, maybe it's volunteering at a soup kitchen. There are a million things you can do to help people and start to feel better about yourself. Let's kill it in 2017. Later, guys.